kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I will teach you how to create a simple video player app using Kotlin in Android studio okay guys so without wasting any time let's get started okay so here I already have created the project and here I have this main activity here so in first of all what we are going to do is we are going to pick the uh, video from the gallery so here I am going to use a button and uh, the width will be match parent and height will be wrap content then i will just set the text and the id so let me set the text and we can say pick video okay and let me set the id to button and after that what uh, i am going to use the video view to uh, play the video so here i am using the video view and i set the width to match parent and height to wrap content then i set the id of this video view and here i set it below and i set button okay so here now whenever the user will click on the pick video button so he will be able to pick the video from the gallery and this video will be played in this video view okay so now we need to go back to our main activity and here in, inside our own create method we are going to use this button so we can say button dot set on click listener and inside that listener what we are going to do is we are going to use variable intent equal to intent and then we can say intent dot set type and we can set video slash static and then we can say intent dot set action and here we are going to use intent dot action get content and after that we are going to use start activity for result and here we need to pass intent and then the this uh, request <laughs> code all right so after that we are going to okay so here after this on create method we are going to override the method on activity result so we can say on activity result and inside that we can first of all check if sorry result called equal to activity dot result okay and data is not equal to null so here we can check if request code equal to 101 so here we need to first of all fetch the uri so here we can say where uri equal to data dot data and then we can say value variable sorry selected image of type string equal to get path and here we will send this uri okay so here it is the red error so we need to create this function so click here and click on alt enter and here select create function get path okay so here we have this function and now in in this function we are going to say okay so here we are going to first of all declare uh, an array so here we can say projection array equal to array of and inside that we can say media store dot video dot media dot data all right and 
and after that we are going to use a cursor object so we can say variable cursor equal to application context dot content resolver dot query and inside that we first of all need to pass the uri and then we need to pass the string array of projection here projection array and then we can pass null null and null all right so now that we have got the cursor object and here we can check if cursor is not equal to null then what we can do is we can say well column index of type integer equal to cursor dot get column index or throw and here we can pass the column index here we can use media store dot video dot media dot data okay and after that we can simply say cursor dot move to first okay and then we can simply return cursor dot get string and here we can pass the column index all right then here we can use the else statement here and here we can simply return um, empty string okay so um, now here inside our own activity result method we can check if selected image is not equal to null then we are going to use or you can say we are now going to play the video to the video view so here we can say video view dot set video path and here we can pass the selected image string here and then we can uh, assign a, a media controller so we can say variable media controller equal to media controller and here we can pass this all right and then after that we can simply say video view dot set media controller and we can pass the media controller here then we can simply start the video view so we can say video view dot start okay guys so that is it so let's run the app and let me show you okay so here let me show you a recap of what we have done so here i have used the button set on click listener and inside that we have used the intent to start the activity for uh, picking the image from the gallery the, uh, sorry the video from the gallery and then inside our own activity result method we are going to uh, set the uri from this data object uh, and then we are uh, going to get the path from this function and this function returns the path of this video and it returns in the string this uh, string selected image and then we check if the selected image is not equal to null then we just set it to the video view okay and then we attach the media controller here and we started the video views okay guys so let me run the app and let's see how it works okay guys so here from now uh, i click on pick video and i go to my gallery and i pick the video and here now you are able to see the video and if i click here so now you are able to see this media controllers okay so i can press it here and i can make it stop or 
or play it all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye